Guten Tag, wie geht's? Willkommen in der Dank Basement. Uh, ich bin der Onkel Squinty, wie geht's? And today we're going to be talking about Schmalzlas because it is a Schmalzla season sort of vibe today. Even though the temperature is about 67 degrees, we'll say about 19.4 Celsius. Somewhere between 19 and 20 is going to be today's high. So, uh, but rest assured, we're going to have some much crisper fall days coming, and I think Schmalzlers are absolutely at their best during this time of year. This is from Perschel Tobacco of Germany, and this is called Doppel Aroma. I purchased this from MrSnuff.com, I believe. I'm not sure because it was two and a half years ago, maybe three. I didn't mark the date, unfortunately, on the bag. But uh, I put it in this light resistant glass jar, which I boiled out beforehand, by the way. It's a good thing to do if you're going to be, you know, packaging up your snuff or your pipe tobacco in glass. You should boil them out first, get them real clean and sanitized. But anyway, this has been in the fridge for about two and a half years, untouched. And I let it warm over the last hour or so to room temperature so I wouldn't get condensation. What we have here. It's almost a coffee aroma. Let me get some more of that. Coffee and grain or hazelnut maybe? English walnut? There's some sort of sort of subtle back nut scent to the uh, to the coffee scent. All right. Grind wise, I should have a spoon, guys. I know. Do as I say, not as I do. But I have no spoon. Oh, I just took a huge pinch. This is like a uh, watermelon seed sized pinch. But you can do that with Schmalzlers. I may end up with a Führer mustache if I do. Please don't call me a Nazi. I think that's how it's pronounced. Nazi? Don't call me a Nazi. Just because I'm doing Schmalzler. Und ja, Doppel Aroma from uh, Perschel. The mighty tobacco giant of Germany, Perschel. All right, are we ready to try this? Yeah, oh, by the way, the consistency, the grind of this is demi coarse. It's not real coarse, of course, of course. But it's uh, yeah, somewhere between medium and coarse. And it is very moist, of course, and you'd expect that because Schmalzlers are moistened with a bit of food grade mineral oil. Don't worry about food grade mineral oil. If you use chapstick on your lips or have ever put Vaseline in your nostrils when you have a bad cold, uh, it's the same sort of vibe. Now, it's not going to harm you in any way, so it's perfectly fine. Food grade mineral oil, you'll be surprised how much of it you actually eat in a given year. Anyway, let's try this. I'm looking forward to it. Cheers. Oh my god, this is a huge bump. Das ist richtig. I don't have a handkerchief. Oh, I'm so ill prepared. Yeah, in the nose, there's almost no coffee. The coffee that I smelled in the jar just isn't there right now. Uh, oh, this is nice. Guys, this is delicious. I actually should be out in cool air to fully appreciate this, but it's good. Of course, it's going to be a 5 out of 5 on the squinty scale. Nicotine-wise, there's some. Uh, surprisingly high for a Schmalzler. I would give it on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is no nicotine whatsoever, and 10 is potentially dangerous. Where most Schmalzlers, in my experience, come in right around a 3, this is about a four, four and a half. It's about mid-range for nicotine, so not bad at all. Uh, persistence in the nose is amazing. This will last for at least a half hour in your nostrils. In cold air, you'll probably be able to, to de detect it for closer to an hour. Uh, the scent now in my nose is a bit of a fermented stone fruit. That nut edge is still there a little bit, although the coffee isn't at all. And it is aromatic. Doppel Aroma is a great name for this. Yeah, it's good. Five out of five on the Squiddy scale. Donka Shane for listening and watching. I appreciate it. I realize I'm not the world's prettiest snuff presenter, but I hope to be the most personable. Thanks.